April of 1968, Martin Luther King was assassinated. The small number of African-American students created the Black Students' Union at MIT. The Black Student Union presented a list of demands to the administration, except we actually called them proposals. We felt that MIT could be significantly enhanced uh, by having more minority students here. Many people question our right to be here at MIT. Uh, many people question our abilities to succeed at the academic uh, endeavor. There were people who questioned whether African-American students had the capacity to innovate in intellectual fields. We created a summer program called Project Interface, which still operates, and was staffed largely by African-American graduate students. We wanted to do what we could to ease the transition into MIT. I was in the first Project Interface, which took place in 1969. Part of the thing was to bring them up to the campus the summer before they would start so they could learn the campus, so they could meet each other, and so they would come here and not feel like they were on an island. I had to learn how to study and manage my time. All of that happened during Project Interphase for me. We taught get up to speed subjects in physics and math. There was a humanities program, there was an athletics and social program. You weren't just being taught by MIT professors. You were being taught by other minority students, many of whom had gone through interphase, uh, that weren't peers but were role models for you as well. A couple of our students in Project Interface who had not had calculus in high school came to Project Interface Learn Calculus and then placed out of 1801 and 1802. And with that launch pad, it made it easier to take a risk, to step out, to have confidence, to be courageous, all those things that uh, got me through MIT and has gotten me through my life since. So Interface was this experiment that kind of said, you know, yeah, these people can do this. The best way to solve a problem is to bring multiple perspectives to that problem. And the best way to solve the problems of the world is to make sure that all the people that touch that problem are taken into account as you drive to the solution. Paul created an amazing foundation. And so there wouldn't be a real presence if it weren't for what went on during that period. Maybe the most important thing I did around here. I owe a large portion of my success at MIT, and I would even say since MIT, to Interphase. Project Interphase was the singular, most important academic experience I ever had in my life. One could hope that you wouldn't need an Interphase anymore because all the disparities are gone and we're all very diverse and all the stakeholders are engaged, but that's not the case. And so I think that the work of Interphase is so important changing the lives of students like myself, contributing to the success of MIT and the impact and footprint that it's making on society at large. So we'll go 45 more years until we don't need to exist anymore. <laughs>